Hi, this is Alarice, editor with CGT at the 2015 Sales and Marketing Summit in New York. I'm here with Doug Bennett, uh, part of the Sales Effectiveness Practice at Nielsen. Um, welcome, thanks for joining us. Sure. I just want to ask you, we're talking strategies that begin and end with the consumer. What are some of the key trends that you're seeing with your clients um, and some of the strategies, I guess, that they're working with you on? Well, Nielsen's always put the consumer at the center of our business. I mean, we help our clients understand their markets on what consumers watch and buy. And if you think about the strategies uh, that put the consumer at the center, we're, you know, we're a fairly significant player in that. And uh, we're excited to be a part of this because there's thought leadership that's shared at the session that creates good contextual information for us to collaborate with customers, with partners that we work with uh, in our value chain back to both retailers and manufacturers. I think what we've heard already is partnership between marketing and information technology to embrace the availability of information and data that is around the fragmentation of how a marketer can reach a consumer, which is exploding, and that's not new. Everybody is very familiar with that. Uh, so that theme is not is not new, but it's important to continue to talk about that as it as it evolves. The second thing we've heard this morning is centers around the idea of media becoming the store. I, that's what I took away as the thesis of the first session, and uh, we we embrace that idea that the path to purchase is complex, it's evolving, it's different for various segments of the marketplace and understanding not just those consumers, but understanding individual executions and what those returns are to a brand, to a category, to a retailer and manufacturer is of critical importance. Let's face it, the domestic marketplace that we're talking about here primarily is stagnant. Unit growth and packaged goods, especially food and beverage, are flat. So optimizing the return on that marketing execution and sales execution is of the greatest importance. It's never been more important. It's never been a more exciting time because of the tools that are available to marketers and sales professionals and, and the ability to analyze and synthesize and activate in a different way. And uh, we love being a part of that. Definitely. Um, I know later on you guys are going to have a session with one of your clients. Can you talk a little bit about that session for the folks at home who, who couldn't be here? Sure. So the sales effectiveness practice that I lead is all about getting the right product to the right stores with the right strategic pricing and then the right trade merchandising. Mike Klein, our partner at Post Foods, is going to talk about bringing an insights-based planning process that builds upon their foundational TPM system. So. Uh, Nielsen RMO is being implemented at Post Foods to bring a more insights-based plan that allows them to identify profitable events versus losing events, turn that into guidelines that they establish for their brands and segments, and most importantly, define win-win trade events at the trade desk. So the joint business plan is enhanced by understanding the characteristics based on duration, depth of discount, frequency, and promoted mix, both at an aggregate level for their annual plan, but more importantly down at the trade desk where their customer teams operate. And so Mike's going to share where we are in that journey and how it's improving their business. Right. Great. We're looking forward to it. And we appreciate your time and your support, of course, and enjoy the rest of your event. It's been a great event. We're happy to be here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.